O belo lago Okanogan, na província canadense Colômbia Britânica, a 4 horas de Vancouver, se estende por 128 quilômetros e chega a ter mais de 240 metros de profundidade. Em tal recipiente cavado pela mãe natureza, a água jamais congela, nem no inverno mais gelado. Esse cenário pitoresco abriga um dos maiores mistérios do Canadá. Nos últimos 300 anos, há relatos de uma criatura marinha gigante no lago. Seu apelido é Ogo Pogo, paródia de uma antiga canção folclórica britânica. Na criatura, um fenômeno bem documentado, mas nunca desvendado. A escritora Arlene Gaal recebe relatos, no mínimo, de uns 12 avistamentos por ano. Em agosto do ano 2000, o engenheiro Lupnowski saiu nesta sacada da Summer Hill Winery, que dá para o lago, quando teve uma experiência estranha. It was a little bit cloudy, it was still nice and warm. The lake was kind of gray as opposed to blue because of the cloud. It was fairly calm, a little bit of a ripple here and there, but the reason I took the shot was really because I did see something. In the water, it looks like a long, dark, uh, slender, uh, slightly coiled object, probably 40, 45 feet long, and, and I'm guessing four or five feet in diameter. I, I think we got a an interesting shot that I can't explain. A moradora Twyla Murdoch acha que viu o Ogopogo quando seu cunhado visitou o lago Okanogan. He said, how big are the fish in this lake? And I said, 25, 30 pounds, tops. And he said, well, what's that? <laughs> and I turned around and I was just speechless to what I saw. It was huge, like a serpent-like creature in the lake. Probably about 40 to 50 feet long. Instead of swimming like a fish, it was more like undulating. You could see the head go down, and then um, kind of a bump come up every once in a while. It didn't look like anything I had ever seen before. It wasn't a fish, it wasn't a snake, it wasn't a sturgeon, it was odd. <laughs> Big and odd. Whiskey Ador. Dan Bazaraba estava com sua câmera de vídeo quando avistou o Ogopogo numa manhã de verão em 2001. Um amigo meu disse, olha para o lago, há algo lá dentro. Pegou a câmera de vídeo, começou a atirar e tive uma boa foto dele. Nós vimos algo como um submarino ou um snake que estava surfando no mar. Foi cerca de 30 ou 40 feet long. There's no way that this could have been a fish because uh, fish just don't get that big in, in this lake. It couldn't have been a log or anything like that because it was definitely moving. There's motion to it and there's not many currents and there was no other waves. It was a calm day out. It's just uh, phenomenal to me. Everyone does not see exactly the same thing, mainly because we're looking at portions of the animal's body breaking water. At times they will see three protrusions out of the water, 20 to 40 feet in length, brownish or darkish green in color. Explicações naturais para os avistamentos são os efeitos da luz e as ondas na água ou um peixe enorme ainda não documentado. Pelas teorias especulativas, é descendente de dinossauro. They resemble plesiosaur, but not plesiosaur as one would know it during the Jurassic period, but plesiosaur that has adapted itself to the environment of our day. Arlene crê ter fotografado o Ogopogo em 1970. Nesse dia, ela estava na ponte de Kelowna. 
as I turned my head towards the bridge, I saw the shadow moving in two parts, just away from the bridge. I followed it with my eyes, and suddenly my mouth dropped, because I want you to imagine a 1940s submarine surfacing with the waves rolling off the top of it. I remember grabbing my camera, took five sequential shots, then I sat down and attempted to convince myself that what I had seen was not there. We're actually seeing a very large black something on the surface of the lake, and it was at least 40 to 50 feet long. I was shocked. O engenheiro Mike Murhead foi contratado para um experimento para localizar o Ogopogo em setembro de 2000. We have side scan sonar, which basically gives you a sonar return from any kind of objects in the lake and on the bottom of the lake. We also had a remote control vehicle, which went down and was able to take actual video images. Na sonda, captou imagens de algo incrivelmente grande se mexendo no fundo lamacento do lago. When we first saw the video imagery of the large object moving out of the mud, it's exciting. So that immediately catches your attention. It's unusual. You're not used to seeing objects of that size moving on the bottom. Depois, os cientistas usaram um sonar torpedo que mandou um sinal direto para o fundo. O aparelho proporcionou uma descoberta espantosa. What we have here is a side scan image of an object that is 45 feet long. And the length of the object, as you can see from the cursor, goes from the top end here all the way down to there. And that's a continuous object. We can actually measure the fact that the object is five feet wide. A tela do sonar mostra um objeto se mexendo rápido. Porém, mesmo com essa descoberta, restaram mais perguntas do que respostas. We had exactly one piece of data, and to try and, from a scientific standpoint, base some kind of conclusion, one piece of data just uh, isn't on. It needs more information. O vídeo mais intrigante da criatura de Okanogan foi obtida por Paul Demara em 1992. Curiosamente, ela sugere várias criaturas enormes no lago. Grab my video camera and started to videotape what appeared to be something just below the surface of the water. It was uh, something I had never seen before in my life. The amount of area that's covered and the number of waves that you can see suggests that there may in fact be a number of them. And I believe that's possible because if there is a creature that in fact lives deep in the lake and it is a very deep lake, then they probably have to reproduce. Enquanto Paul Demar estava filmando, uma lancha apareceu puxando um esquiador. This water skier appeared to ski right over what was going on there. I'm not sure if they saw something and the water skier fell, but and I was actually quite surprised and, in fact, uh, suggested that this person was going to get eaten alive. I was so shocked. I've never been able to find out who was in that boat that day. The creature seemed to submerge at that point and uh, move away from there. In some of the latest videotape, we see three or more creatures swimming side by side. So they are not only sustaining themselves, but they are also reproducing. O morador Michael Bett estava sem câmera quando ficou a 18 metros da misteriosa criatura. For me, I had a feeling in my stomach and it brought tears to my eyes. It was a very moving experience. What I saw was a huge, enormous snake-like creature rise to the surface and come very close to my boat but then withdraw, and it was very scary at the time. It was a, like a supernatural experience. Alguns pensam, se é mesmo uma criatura marinha, para onde ela vai entre os avistamentos? I'm feeling that it probably has a cave of sorts beneath uh, the surface of the lake, or maybe it moves up one of the tributaries and goes off somewhere to hibernate for the winter. 
muitos daqueles que eram céticos passaram a acreditar. Ogopogo does exist. As far as I'm concerned, I've seen him. I wasn't a believer of Ogopogo before, but uh, I definitely am now. There's something out there, and uh, it will be explained someday. There must be something, whether it's a giant sturgeon or whether it's uh, a forgotten creature from days gone by, but the lake is very big and there's a lot of sightings, so there must be something to it. I'm convinced something's going on in Okanagan Lake. I just don't know what it is. Maybe one day there'll be some evidence that everybody will agree is scientifically valid evidence to support all the stories that have been told over the years. Por enquanto, Ogopogo permanece um mistério que precisa ser explicado.